Hey there guys, what's happening? So, yeah, looks like the baddest man on the planet, Deontay Wilder, number one heavyweight in the world, number one pound for pound fighter of all time, um, is going to be fighting Dominic Brazil, the fourth best heavyweight in the world. So, very excited about this fight. However, my one gripe with this and the one reason why I think there's a little bit of negativity going into it is because I think like most people, I was hoping to see the much anticipated the main Stavern trilogy. Um, I was really hoping that that rubber match, you know, that third fight between Wilder and Stavern could get made because I was really looking forward to it to see what would happen. And unfortunately, we're not going to get to see that one. Um, so we're going to have to settle for the next best thing, which is the fourth heavyweight, Brazil. You know, and, and I say Brazil's the fourth heavyweight because... You know, this is how I see it, basically. So you've got, obviously, number one, you've obviously got the baddest man on the planet. You know, best fighter in the world, Deontay Wilder, at number one. Um, at number two, of course, you have the boogeyman, Luis Ortiz. Now, Luis Ortiz may be getting on a bit, but, I mean, let's be real. What he does bring to the table is just tons of experience. I mean, Luis Ortiz used to be John L. Sullivan's sparring partner. And, you know, this is the guy that taught Joe Lewis how to box and stuff. So, Lewis Ortiz obviously has got a, a shit ton of experience, which makes him the boogeyman. I mean, um, you know, nobody wants to fight Lewis Ortiz. I mean, with, with wins on his record against the likes of Dave Allen and, um, you know, Melly Scott and all that, n nobody really wants to fuck with this guy. I mean, Lewis Ortiz is just a, a real scary dude. I mean, King Kong himself wouldn't fight Lewis Ortiz. I mean, King Kong himself climbed up the, the Empire State Building in the 1930s just to avoid Luis Ortiz. He was running for dear life. You know, that's why he was up there. And then ever since then, Luis Ortiz was known as King Kong. You know, he took King Kong's nickname by chasing him up the up the Empire State Building. So, yeah, Luis Ortiz, man, number two heavyweight in the world. Number three, we have, of course, Bermain Stavern who's um, the only man to have gone the distance with Deontay Wilder prior to Tyson Fury. But, you know, the the whole thing with Tyson Fury, I know that some of you are going to say, well, didn't Wilder draw with Tyson Fury, so how can he be the baddest man on the planet? Well, the only way I'd respond to that is to say that, look, it's been scientifically proven, okay, scientifically proven that no man born from his mother can defeat the the Gypsy King Tyson Fury. You know, Tyson Fury is just unbeatable. Okay, it's scientifically proven. I've been told by many people in my comment sections about how Tyson Fury cannot be beaten because no man born from his mother scientifically can beat the guy. So the fact that Deontay Wilder was able to draw with this man is just testament to how Deontay Wilder truly is the baddest man on the planet. And... Um, yeah, so at number four, we we obviously have Bermain Stavern. And then, of course, it's, I'd say Tyson Fury at number five. But, I mean, who cares about that? You know, that that's all, you, you know, it's been scientifically proven that you can't beat Tyson Fury. No man born from his mother can beat him. So we don't really need to see a, another clash of the titans, you know, between Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury. We don't need to see that. You know, I'd rather fight, you, you know, I'd rather see Deontay Wilder fight guys that, you know... You, you, you know, guys that are just going to come to fight, you know, not guys that it, we already know what the result's going to be. So, yeah, this fight with Dominic Brazil, uh, Dominic Brazil is a tough dude, you know, he's really, really strong. Uh, gave Anthony Joshua a real good run for his money. He got stopped and got taken out in the, I believe it was the seventh round. But prior to that, he was actually, you know, showing some shoulder rolls and some Mayweather defense and was making Anthony Joshua miss and, you know, making Anthony Joshua look clumsy. So. You know, going in against against Deontay Wilder, he has that added intrigue of knowing that Brazil has, um, you know, Floyd Mayweather-esque defense. So is Deontay Wilder going to be able to land his amazing knockout power on Dominic Brazil's chin, knowing how defensively skilled and how virtuous um, Dominic Brazil is with his defense? So that's going to make this fight interesting. Also, Dominic Brazil has got tons of heart. I mean, he was... He was badly injured against uh, Amir Mansour, the old guy, and um, he came back to win by stoppage. So that was an amazing display of heart and courage from uh, Dominic Brazil. So I think Dominic Brazil, he's really going to give Deontay Wilder a tough fight. And, you know, he's going to be, he'll take some punches from Wilder here and there, and he'll probably use that Mayweather-esque defense to, to slip the shots and get on the inside. But 
I mean, with Deontay Wilder being the baddest man on the planet, it's tough to really see how a guy who's only the fourth best heavyweight is going to be able to beat him. I mean, if the third best heavyweight, Bermain Stavern, and, and the second best heavyweight, the boogeyman, Luis Ortiz, weren't able to get the better of the baddest man on the planet, I can't really see... I can't really see Dominic Brazil doing it, and I think that the baddest man on the planet, Deontay Wilder, will eventually take Dominic Brazil out, probably by about the 6th or 7th round. I see it being quite similar to how the Anthony Joshua fight went, although Wilder will look a lot more impressive on the outside and less clumsy than Joshua, because, you know, Joshua is just a, a big, stiff, roided-up bodybuilder. You know, he's not really a boxer. Um, and, and, yeah, Deontay Wilder recently turned down an offer of 100 million to fight Anthony Joshua because clearly 100 million is peanuts you know that's a slow Tuesday to the to the baddest man on the planet I mean Deontay Wilder makes that in a minute let's be real he's he's made a lot more money than that in his career than 100 million you know he doesn't need that money like I said it's just a slow Tuesday to him you know it's peanuts to him it's chicken change it's it's you know, what he finds down the down the side of his sofa, you know, when he sticks his hand down his sofa and he finds money, he'll find a hundred million there, easy peasy. You know, because the baddest man on the planet really is that wealthy. And being the baddest man on the planet, you know, he's the A side and Anthony Joshua has to pay through the nose to get Wilder in the ring if he wants to have the privilege of stepping in the ring with the baddest man on the planet. So, yeah, this is going to be a, an exciting fight. I hope they show it on ITV4. I'm really looking forward to it. You know, I, I, I never want to miss a Deontay Wilder fight, man. The guy's just so amazing to watch. He's so entertaining. He's the baddest man on the planet. Um, Mike Tyson cannot hold a candle to this guy. You know, Mike Tyson wants to talk trash about about Deontay Wilder, but Deontay Wilder would kick prime Mike Tyson's ass. You know, people say Tyson was the baddest man on the planet. Nah. Tyson, he would get taken out in one, maybe two rounds against the baddest man on the planet, Deontay Wilder. Um, you know, the Klitschko brothers, you know, they, they, they retired because of Deontay Wilder. You know, Vitaly Klitschko, when he had that WBC title and when he was fighting guys like Derek Chisora and Manuel Char, you know, when he was like 40, 42 years old, uh, Vitaly was, and he, he realised, he saw highlight reels of, of Deontay Wilder against the great Dustin Nichols, and um, a, against all those journeymen he was fighting, you know, guys like Nikolai Furter and whatnot, you know, Vitaly Klitschko saw those highlights and shat himself and decided to retire, he was, he was traumatised at the thought of facing the baddest man on the planet, Deontay Wilder, and of course he would have had to take the fight in America, you know, they wouldn't have had it in Germany, it would have been in America because Deontay Wilder is, of course, as you guys know, the A side. So Vitali, you know, would have had to travel to face him, and um, yeah, he would have got his 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 face ripped to pieces, just like when he fought Lennox. It would have been the same situation again. So he shot himself. Um, you know, all these guys shot themselves. You know, nobody wants to fight Wilder. He's 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 the baddest man on the planet, and um, Dominic Brazil has stepped up. Tyson Fury didn't want the rematch. You know, Tyson Fury doesn't want to get knocked on his ass again like he did when he fought Wilder, um, you know, again, Wilder didn't beat Fury because it's scientifically proven no man born from his mother can beat the Gypsy King, but Wilder, of course, was able to get the draw because Wilder is that good, you know, he is that great, so looking forward to this fight, man, you know, number one, baddest man on the planet, Deontay Wilder, facing Dominic Brazil, I see it being competitive early on because Dominic Brazil has that amazing Mayweather defense, but I think that Wilder will knock him out in the mid round. So that's how I see this one going. Um, yeah, good luck to both guys. Can't wait to see it. Um, and do I want to see Wilder face Joshua after this or, or the rematch with the Gypsy King? N not particularly. I mean, Anthony Joshua just he's he's too stiff and too clumsy for for someone as as amazing and 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 as technically skilled as Wilder. So. Yeah, I don't really want to see it. Um, I, I'm, I'm happy with Wilder staying in America and fighting these PBC guys. You know, I really do want to see that Stavern trilogy. That That's the one I'm longing to see. Um, you know, Stavern really needs to get in the ring with Wilder and, and have that rematch, man. You know, that's that's the one that boxing fans have been... You know, that, that, that's the one that's got the demand, isn't it? You know, the, 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 the high demand for Deontay Wilder is for him to face Bermain Stavern in that long-awaited, anticipated rematch. So... 
yeah let me know what you guys think about this one anyway i'm looking forward to this one i really hope they show it over here for free i'm really looking forward to it thanks for watching guys and god bless